Welcome again to brandylibrary.tv for the Ambassador Series. And Estelle is here with us today for Louis Royer Cognac. Good morning, Estelle. Good morning. All right, so Louis Royer, what is this? Uh, Louis Royer is a very uh, high-end quality cognac house. Uh, it was founded in 1853 um, by Louis Royer himself. Uh, so it's, uh, it's been already 150 years of experience. Uh, Louis Royer was uh, a cellar master before he started to found his own company. Uh, and he started to cre he created his house 25, uh, when he was 25. So he was young. Um, right. He was really looking for uh, something that wasn't uh, on the market yet. So he really wanted to create things that were different. Mm -hmm. um, really think that for uh, the cognac, the best things that describe Louis Royer is uh, its generosity and uh, the, arm the harmony you have in the cognacs, in the different cognacs you have on the range. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, we're talking about cognac, but more specifically, I know because over there we, we tasted quite a few. Um, Louis Royer has some fin bois, some Grand Champagne, some Borderie, a bit of, of all, all of those crews uh, uh, represented in the cognacs. But here in the US, um, what can we find? We can find, depending on the products, uh, a blend, more or less usually a blend of different crews in the cognac region, uh, just because we want to represent uh, the cognac region in general. Um, so, in most of the products here, uh, two out of three, you actually have blends of uh, four out of the six different crews in the cognac region. Uh, just because, yes, again, we really want to represent the full mm -hmm. uh, cognac region and uh, its aromas. I see. And so, you've got a VSOP, you've got an XO, uh, something that looks a bit unusual here. The usualness here, it's a product that is very unique, very different, something you cannot find on the market. Um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's our VSOP, so it's another VSOP we have here. It's only from Fin Champagne, so the heart of the Cognac region, mm -hmm. uh, Grand and Petit Champagne. Um, and the big difference here, it's its strength. So it's called VSOP 453 mm -hmm. because it's 106 proof. Uh, so that makes it all the difference and why 106 proof not 100 or not 100. I was about to ask you that. Uh, proof just because our cellar master really believed that it's at, it's at this strength mm -hmm. that uh, the cognac expresses uh, it, it's, its best strength and, uh, and, and nobility. So, uh, Very good. So that's why 106 proof. All right, well, we'll see that. We'll see that in a few, in a few minutes. Um, now, where is Louis Royer located uh, exactly? I know you, you, you're um, encouraging people to go and visit. And, uh, and I do remember beautiful surroundings being right by the river. It is by the river, like most of the cognac houses. Uh, we are based in Jarnac, uh, mm -hmm. just right next to the, to the Charon River. Our office is actually, you can actually look at the river um, by, uh, from our offices. Uh, so Jarnac is 20 minutes drive approximately mm -hmm. from, from the cognac uh, city. Mm -hmm. And so would you tell us a bit about the maybe Specificities on the on the on the wines themselves, on the distillation, on the maturation. What makes Louis Royer like the others, or a bit different from the others? Um, I'd say it's. Uh, I would love to say different. Obviously, uh, uh, Louis Royer is owned by Centauri, uh, as you know, mm -hmm. uh, but we still keep our independence. Um, we have a great cellar master who works for, uh, with us. We all work together um, to make those great cognacs. Uh, so he has this know-how of selecting great and um, I mean great wines and uh, assembling everything together. Mm -hmm. uh, and we ov obviously have as well uh, Jérôme Royer, who is actually um, the great grandson of uh, of the Royer family. And I really believe that makes a difference as well because it really keeps the the authenticity of the of, of the Louis Royer uh, brand and prints. Mm -hmm. But so basically, you've got a, a great company behind it, yes, and, and a family style. From what I, from what I saw, from what I understand, it is, it is still the case. Yes, very good. It's very aromatic. It is. It is lovely, aromatic. fresh notes. Lots of fruitiness too. Is it because of the amount of alcohol there that is so intense on the nose? I think it is because of the of the strength of the cognac, uh, from the aging as well. Uh, it's a cognac that's been aged in four and six years, so it's still quite a young cognac. But then we really believe that uh, a bit uh, a bit too long would have been uh, would have 
maybe not kept uh, the freshness mm -hmm. of the cognac here. I see. Um, so yeah, it is very aromatic. It's only from French, from French Champagne, so you have all the notes coming out. So you have this uh, this freshness. You have citrusy notes. You have pear, blueberry. You have a little bit of hint of vanilla and caramel as well, um, which brings these tiny sweet notes. You have um, the the strength is there to 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 back it up, but it's not aggressive. Exactly. Yes, it is still very smooth, um, and that's why I usually heard you. I wouldn't expect it to be mm -hmm. that smooth. Um, yeah. Exactly. Now we're having it neat, but is there another way to experience that, that Force 53? There is. Uh, you can either drink it uh, on the rocks, which can be made, or uh, as well in cocktails. Um, the great thing about this one, it, again, it's 106 proof, so it brings a lot of, uh, of energy in a cocktail. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it brings actually that strength that you may not have in 80 proof cognacs. Um. So now this is the EXO. Yes. So the EXO, again, it's very, very different. It's a cognac, uh, it's a blend of 100 and more different eau de vie. Uh, it's been aged between 15 and symphony of, the, of mm -hmm. fruity, uh, floral, woody, spicy notes. Um, so it's really like a game, kind of. So you could sit for hours. That's what I do. I sit for hours drinking this cognac and uh, I always I always enjoy myself um, because every sip is different. Um, it's a tough job. Eh? It is a tough job. I, know, I, I realize know. that uh, there is um, a symbol, there's a sign, there's a, a bee, is it? Yes. What about this? It is a bee. Um, historically, I mean, Louis Royer, our founder, was as well a beekeeper, uh, as surprising as, as it can be. Um, sorry. <laughs> Came out like this. Um, so yeah, he was a beekeeper, so he actually kept this um, with, his, uh, uh, with his sons and uh, great-grandsons mm -hmm. um, just because you have this image behind uh, a beehive where every bee actually has its own position in the beehive, but we all, I mean, they all work together um, to create great honey. Mm -hmm. And here is the same thing for us. He had in mind to create an ideal company where everybody with its dedication and work would actually, we would actually all together produce a great uh, divine nectar, as uh, Victor Hugo used to, 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 Very call, good. to call cognac. Uh -huh. um, so that's the symbol behind the bee. And uh, still today, uh, we actually sponsor beehives. So we have beehives uh, in our house. Um, and this year we produced our first honey. So it was, it was very, very, very good. nice. Now, if we, if we love the bees, we keep on drinking Rue Royer Cognac. Of course. Very good. <laughs> That's just another reason for it. <laughs> exactly.